The great Hasidic master, the Kotzke River, gives a penetrating insight into the human condition, how belief works and belief in ourselves. And I think it's a message critical at this juncture in Jewish history as we face this ongoing war in Israel today. You see, says the Kotzka, there's a few words in this week's Pasha which give us a window into the soul of the Jewish people, into their shortcomings of why this became the, most, tr the biggest tragedy that an entire generation died out in the desert. Because you see, as the Jewish people are about to come in, as we all know, Parsha Shlach, and the scouts, the Tarim the Maraglim came to check out the land, the vast majority, 10 out of 12, couldn't see uh, their ability to, um, to win and to uh, overcome the challenges of, this, uh, of, the, of the great enemy in the land. And a, very, a, a penetrating verse says, The reason they give that they cannot overcome, they say to the Jewish people, is we seemed like grasshoppers to them. In our own eyes, we seemed like grasshoppers. These people are so powerful, they're giants, and we are like nothing to them. But then says the Kotzka, not only did we see ourselves as so small, this reality became so true, we added another three words, v'chein hayinu ba'enehem, and we are convinced that's how our enemy sees us. Says the Kotzka, this is the psychological, spiritual root of the sin. We thought we were so small and couldn't overcome and prevail over our enemies that we were convinced that not only that, that's how we see ourselves, that's our reality, but that's how everybody sees us. And if we are nothing in our own eyes and so small and, and can't overcome, then we are convinced others see us that way, and that is the objective reality. So much so, says Rashi, quoting the, uh, to Gomorrah and, and Midrash in this week's parsha, where Rashi says, when the, 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 the Maraglim turn around and they say to Kalev, uh, to Kalev and to Yoshua and to all the nations, they say, we simply can't do it ki chazak hu mimenu because the enemy is stronger mimenu mimenu can mean mimenu stronger than us but says Rashi and the Maharal and others interpret it to mean this way even in the Pshat ki chazak hu mimenu they are even stronger mimenu than God they are stronger than him we can't do this what a powerful insight and what a shortcoming we become so convinced of our weaknesses, our inability to overcome and prevail, that we see ourselves as small. We see our enemies seeing ourselves as small, and we believe that even God cannot help us because we are simply nobody can help us. We are beyond help. And that's how small we are. This is the great challenge that we have. And once you see yourself that way, and you believe everyone sees yourself that way, you therefore believe even Hashem can't help you, and the enemy is too strong, and the challenges are too strong. This is the great challenge we face today. You see, our enemy saw us as small, divided, weak, and small. But we showed on that 7th of October, Simchat Torah Shmini Yatzeret, a ruach, a spirit like Yeshua and Kalev, ruach acheretimo. And just like then, people try to, um, the Maraglim then, try to weaken our claim to the land, that even Hashem, who gave us the land in the first place, was unable to protect us. So too, we sometimes have voices from within or from without that we are unable to prevail. But we showed on that day a fighting spirit in the spirit of Kalev and Yeshua, Kiruach Acheretimo, a different spirit, a spirit of belief in the eternality of the Jewish people, the eternity of the Jewish people, our right to this land, and that God has promised it to us. And on that day, we saw a spirit of this younger generation, no longer the TikTok generation, a young generation, who, uh, young and old, prepared to put their lives on the line to defend our God-given right to this land. And when we believe in ourselves, we believe in the justness of our cause, and we're prepared to stand up and do everything we can in order to prevail, no one is chazak humimeno. We understand that we are here b'shlichut elokit. We are here as emissaries of God. This is first and foremost not a historic or any other right to this land. There's also all of that. It's first and foremost a God-given right. And if Hashem is on our side and we are fulfilling the shlichut of Hashem, then we can accomplish anything. If we show our resolve and resilience and ability and this ruach acheret, as Kalev and Yoshua do, Hashem, of course, promises us that it will be okay and gives us the ability to continue to prevail. May we all, Bezrat Hashem, continue with the spirit of Ruach Acheret, like Kalev and Yoshua, and Bezrat Hashem, in the merit of that, all of our hostages will return soon. All the Akurim, those who have been uprooted, will return home to their homes. Hashem will protect every single one of our soldiers, bring healing to all those who need healing. And Bezrat Hashem, the God-given right to our land will prevail in the most merciful and meaningful way. Shabbat Shalom.